The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on New Clan, we go 3D with the fifth generation. Shall we play again? Fucking cutting me off. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan. I am Joe. I'm Caleb. This is Cameron. Caleb. And today, we're going to be talking about the history of video games, uh, our part six of our long-running series, and uh, we're going to be going into the fifth generation. But before we get into any of that... want to welcome Barack Obama to the show. Your slow-ass intro. What? <laughs> hey, you're like... <laughs> You, you said something, then you paused for like two seconds, and then you continued, uh, and you're like, "Oh, you cut me off." <laughs> it's like I'm sorry. I, I didn't Is that what no. happened? It, okay, there was a kind pause, of, kind and of, I but the it, it, it's kind of what happened. But how I read it is more like because every time Schweiss has been a little, a little behind, late on yeah. playing the, the <laughs> thing, so this time he was really fucking ready for it. And as soon as, <laughs> and as, soon as he <laughs> saw the pause in you, he just like went for it. As soon as he saw the pause in me. This time we go 3D, and that's when he stopped? Is that what you did? Yeah, okay. there was the pause, and then he was like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's just a dramatic pause, whatever. Whatever. There's another one. There's another dramatic pause right there. Sorry, I'm looking up Hoggib stats. Uh, did they send them to you this time? Yes. So oh, so it's it. amazing, yeah. man. Awesome. I pinned it to the they chat. They don't have to do it twice. <laughs> no, I like know. <laughs> I'm just saying they they were on time before. I mean, they didn't have to do it then either. Uh, well. So uh, <laughs> um, Actually, the last two times it was, uh, it was a day late and a dollar short. No, it was never a dollar short, dollar but it was, uh, it, was the next, it was the next day. Uh, but again, thank you for doing this for us. So yes, thank whatever you for you, whatever for <laughs> we want to go over um, the May statistics we can. Is that looking a gift horse in the mouth, or what is that phrase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not do what that. What does that mean, though? Looking a gift. I horse don't. I don't fuck it. It means it like, has something to do with like you can tell how healthy a horse is or something like by looking. Well, well, well no, the metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm dissecting <laughs> the metaphor. <laughs> yeah, we're dissecting it. I just. I want to know why it's bad to look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know. Because you're, it was given to you. Yeah, and, and if you're you like and if you check it, it out, like then the cunt. person will be offended. Yeah, but it's like, like oh, I gave this it? to you for free. Yeah, but like, what if you do it later? You're just checking up on the horse's health. Like, yeah, I just, <laughs> I've just been given <laughs> yeah, this horse. I want to well, make sure it's healthy. It, it so has it's, to do with like alive. doing it right away when oh, it's okay. given to you. <laughs> <There, laughs> right. That's. Right. I'm sure they don't care about. I mean, do it later. You you should make a really poor metaphor. That's like. You know, checking a gun to make sure it's loaded is rude. <laughs> or it's not loaded it's is rude. rude when it's given to you. It's like, oh, well, you think I didn't put ammo in there? It's like, I mean, I was hoping not, but. Looking a gift gun down the barrel is that funny? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just got to see if it's loaded. Yeah. Uh, Quick game of Russian roulette, guys. Close one eye and check. It's a, it's a semi auto, too. It's, <laughs> that's, that's when Russian roulette gets crazy. <laughs> All right. You know, you could do that. Just, like, have someone else load a whole bunch of blanks in one live round. You don't know when the live round's coming in. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, the blank can still really hurt yeah, you. But you. Yeah, but if you put if it right up against your head, it can. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're talking about with the rest of your leg. Well, yeah. let's hold it, like, maybe half just a hold foot it, back. Yeah, three feet back, yeah. where it's going to be safer. <laughs> I didn't say... If you want it, all be with it'll fucking scald you. Russian roulette. It's still an explosion next to your head. <laughs> yeah. Just because there's no projectile. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have you. to be a blank. It could just be like <laughs> just around that. Like just a hollow point. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a no, hollow no point. No powder. They're hollowed out, right? So they don't hurt <laughs> as much. <laughs> it won't cycle the, the receiver. Only Welcome to Guncast. Welcome to Guncast. I'm Joe. <laughs> 
They're taking all our guns. Hey, uh, what have you been playing, Craig? Uh, Dragon Quest Seven and Tesla Grad. Why do you have to keep up? Every other game that you bring in here, you fucking make up the name to. Uh, no, pretty sure you're no just one a liar. No one will fact check, Craig. <laughs> Tesla Grad. It, it, it's a fucking indie game, dude. Oh, it's sure. It's like Metroid. It's like Metroid. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty sweet. Is it? Yeah. It is. Cool. Uh, Glad you have so many thoughts on it. Yeah, and I played XCOM <laughs> 2. You real deep on this subject. <laughs> Welcome to Nude Clan, early morning. XCOM, yeah, right. XCOM 2. Yeah, XCOM 2 is yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. UFF energy. We need to we usually save it, save it for Nude Clan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, XCOM 2. <laughs> it's fucking great. Uh, yeah, it's okay, free, hold on. It's a free game this month. Oh, it's the free game. Oh, what has everybody it been is. playing? So well, I've been playing it. XCOM 2. Yeah. It's fucking sweet. <laughs> Podcaster Caleb Craig. My roommate That's was right. listening to the trailer for XCOM Two, and I thought it would just sound like the, just the shittiest game in the world. Fuck you. Just, just the way Fuck that you the came, came. commentator on the on the, the little demo for the game. And I hate that. But I've heard good things about XCOM Two, so I should probably it's, stop it's, breathing into the mouse, Craig. It's free. <laughs> or breathe so. it in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> breathing into the mic. He's talking, and he's real close, and he's waiting for you to speak, and he's going. I need you to stop breathing, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> just, just hold it in. When you're not talking, just it's weird up, to hear like, you breathe, inches. but not hear, uh, not feel the hot breath on my ear. That's that's what he's yeah. talking about. I saw you killed all of us in XCOM too. I good. did not. <laughs> Joe did and you name Cameron us? survived. Did you name us? Only you and wait, I. Wait, wait, wait. Is this like a sim- is this like a Sims thing where you can name your? Okay, so. you can customize the characters you get in the game, so you can like change their appearance and their names. Sweet. Can you like give them certain jobs that they excel at? Uh, yeah, you can change their jobs and give them uh, change their loadouts. And then XCOM too, you get fucking swords, which is Ooh. fucking sweet. So, what what is my uh, job? Uh, I think you were a specialist. You had like drones. My mom told me can, special, so, special, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> special ed. So drones and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't have the ability to change your class yet. So. Oh, okay. Anyways, You're I'm glad. Classless. I'm glad. I'm glad to know I survived. You may want to play on easy. It is fucking hard. Cameron will probably never play that game. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Hey, like it. hey, you know what? It's a tactical game with. Uh, if I with can ever get aliens. the fucking stream working, I might just download it and start streaming it. Your stream was working well, last time. Download it anyway. No, it did stop working. <laughs> it just worked one day, and then stopped. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a minute. Okay. Well, what have you been playing, Cameron? Okay, so my, my minutes here. <laughs> my minutes here. <laughs> so I played a little bit of Bloodborne and a little bit of Overwatch and other games. Um, the reason why I only played a little bit of Bloodborne is because I want to stream every second I play of that game, and I want the stream to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the stream was working. So did you didn't <laughs> <It's good laughs> know the stream is working twice the while we're recording? Was not. Wow. It was set up for Ultimas. Sorry. Nice. Anyways, so the reason I only played a little bit of Bloodborne is I want to stream all of it, but the comments never work. And then when I try to log into it from my phone so I can read the comments from my phone, that doesn't work either for some fucking reason. So I might want to borrow did you an not, Elgato. Did you not reset it and everything? No, I did. So I, there was a few things I could do. Um, one of them was manually setting the uh, DNS uh on my PlayStation to point to Google's DNS uh, servers, and that worked for all of 10 minutes, and it stopped. Hmm. So I don't know what's going on. It's fucking weird. I know. I know. It's pretty weird. I don't know if the Elgato is going to help. Yeah, I don't know either, because you still get the same signal from the same internet connection. You know, you just try everything, you know? Let me just... No, I can borrow an Elgato, and I can try streaming some Bloodborne, see yeah. how that goes. He uses it the least. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't it, use it, it at it, all. Yeah, it fucks up for me. So we'll <laughs> see how uh, how it works for you. Okay, so I can try that out. But I did sure play Overwatch, does. and I got quite a few really good matches in on Overwatch. It was quite great. Awesome. Yeah. That's it, huh? It's Overwatch. Cool. Oh, I did play Bloodborne. Some Overwatch too. Bloodborne. Did you? How far are you in Bloodborne? Where are you? Still in that uh, special area. So last time I booted up, it was just uh, all I was doing was grinding for 
Soul Echoes, Blood Echoes, and uh, Blood Vials. So okay, well, yeah. beckoning bill time may be near then. No, no, no. No, we only have four weeks. I think three weeks. Well, we would have had more time if a certain thing wasn't going to happen. But yeah. Oh wait, we would have more time if I had stalled the game. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're pushing. If, well, he's not if wrong. Joe had just <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> then we'd be in a much better place. No, no, no. I was referring to something else, but oh, okay. that's fine. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I played. I've had a real desire to play Fallout 4, though, ever since Fallout 76 was announced. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's all I played. I have two. All, all the way back to number four after 76. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Why four? Fallout 4? Yeah, like it's, it's Fallout the, 1 through 75 to go through. In the Fallout series. Well, what happened to Blade, Run- Blade Runner's uh, 2,400 or 2048? Tw- uh, you fucked up, Craig. You I did. I did fuck up, yeah. <laughs> Still, though. Yeah, what where happened? is Blade Runner 2048? Have you seen that yet, Craig? No, I haven't. I need to. It's a good I one. have it now, so I need to watch it. You have it we now. We all have it you on mean, Voodoo. I have it, yeah. and I put it on Voodoo. Uh, I also have it at another place. Up your ass? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> where I have it. He just keeps a copy on he him. Found my, he found my uh, storage unit. Yeah, it's like that <laughs> horse. found in, it a while ago. It's that yeah. horse in Oblivion. How many terabytes does that hold? <laughs> yeah, dude. The fucking uh, oh, the assassin horse. Or is it horse. a It's got to kill it and then uh, put your shit in it and then revive <laughs> it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It is a petabyte up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sounds disgusting, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So I uh, I started I Am Setsuna. I'm like. It just looks like a regular JRPG to me. Yeah, it, it pretty much is. Oh, okay. It's basically Final Fantasy X story wise, too. Really? It's like a complete ripoff. Yeah. Bing, ding, 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 ding. It's uh, you're going on a journey. Chick's gonna die at the end. You're like her partners. Spoilers. Yeah. What is it really? The that same fucking story? Yeah, it is. It's the exact same. And you keep finding, and then you find a guy, a grizzled old guy, who's like, who was on another journey, and like their person died along the way. So like, he found, I found Oren already. He's he's the big damage dealer. Have you played that game, Craig? I have. It is a ripoff, isn't it? It it is. Yes. Let me guess. It's better though. No. Okay. It's, oh. <laughs> it's like the same. Fuck you. Whose game is that? It's, it's yours. Cameron and I. Cameron, okay. Um, so I played that, and then I've also been slowly, painstakingly working my way through the final areas of God of War, and it's fucking wrecking my face. The last, like, optional area is really fucking bullshit. A lot of they, I have to kill a lot of dudes, and then I have, like, a an oxygen level that I have to keep keep managing and like I open chests to get more and like ah, fuck I keep running into those fucking dark elves no oh, like I the big boss guy hate those dark, dark elves. elves yeah and they're fucking bullshit yeah, fuck dark elves do you you should uh you should try and use those runes <laughs> that can like cut down and like a third of the damage for the dark elves probably yeah cuz you probably, can stack yeah. those yeah when i was there that's what i did that helped a lot yeah, the boss Dark Elf is the problem, though, and he really fucks me up. But I have to do it to get, like, extra items to unlock uh, Realm Terrors in that zone, and I, it's just fucking brutal. It's sick. I don't like it. But I am almost done. Um, after I finish that area, I'm going to have, like... Well, no, I'm not almost done. I have to. I still have to go kill, like, 20 ravens and then find, like, a thousand chests, but eventually I'll get to play them. Eventually. It's really long, yeah. Yeah. A lot of shit. Hmm. So Wait, you only have 20 ravens left? There's yeah, like 500 like of them. Holy shit, dude. There's like 71. I think I have I think I have like 14 left. Mm. There's, there's like a large number dude, of them. There's <laughs> I, I saw I saw a guy that quantity. said that there was a lot of them. Like it's more than 71. Uh, it's 71, <laughs> man. You have to you have to get all of the collectibles in the game though. And that is where you get a huge number. You have to find all of the artifacts and like all of the treasures that Yeah, there's like treasure maps you come across in the game and you have to like find all of those. So you have to do you have to do everything. So there might be five hundred <laughs> if you uh do all of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's Whatever. it for me. <laughs> Whatever. 
I only played uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for one day. Going knee, how is that? Going knee deep into the movie right now, so we're just uh, keeping my keeping my levels low, but still not neck deep. Uh, we'll be neck deep pretty soon. We've got all but two locations figured out, and then we got to start casting uh, in like two weeks. Um, but where, yeah. where are you gonna do the casting at? <sighs> Provo Library. Oh. Yeah. So there are fifty-one ravens. Oh, fifty-one. <laughs> it's even fewer than I thought. Not like five hundred. <laughs> yeah, you put an extra zero at the yeah. end. I You're guess. A fucking tar. Oh, which by the way, it is Fuck the you. it is our last week. Is this the pre-recorded one or the real recorded one? We haven't decided yet. So fucking thank you for geez. blowing our cover. <sighs> <laughs> This matters. Well, if it's before, uh, this will probably just be the pre recorded one. Fuck it. Uh, it's the last week of uh, fundraising for the 13th Cross. Uh, should this be out before June oh, 17th? Oh, wait. This is going to be super confusing because the Hogib stats that I'm going to read off. Yeah. So I'm probably not going to do that on this episode if this is the one that we're. Okay, saving. do we want to put God of War out early, or <laughs> yeah. do we want to put it out late? We're going to put it out early. We're going to put it out early to make fucking... Okay, so I'm not... I'm <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to read Hogib stats this episode, guys. Right. Sorry about that. And sorry about a few... Funding's over. All right, yeah, Before funding's over. Thanks to everybody Thanks. who helped out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hopefully we raised at least <coughs> four grand. That would be helpful. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, fuck it. You got to. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we all know what everybody's been playing two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part's not going to work out. Very well, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody beat a game? <laughs> Yeah, I beat Tesla Grad. Tes, uh, how long was the game? It was like ten hours. Like ten hours? Yeah. How do you fucking spell it? Tesla. Caleb doesn't know. Like, like Tesla. Are you gonna announce this? Like, like the Tesla? Like yeah. the Tesla. Too? Yes. You call it Tesla? Yes. Have you? People say it out loud. It's not like one of those things that no one says. <laughs> Tesla say Grad, like a graduate. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the person who made that title. Okay. <laughs> Tesla grad. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. That's it. Yep. Okay. No opinions. Yep. So uh, since <laughs> this is uh, Camera from the Future, uh, Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put that down. <laughs> hey, this is two I don't believe you. Now. You didn't fucking make a <laughs> ounce of movement in that thing. I don't know, Cameron. I don't know about that. Twice. No, nah, nothing for me. Nothing from you. Nothing for me either. Hopefully, Crystal Chronicles someday soon, but uh, not yet. Huh? Yeah. I'd see it'd see me not writing down Crystal Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. I just think that you're shorting <coughs> yourself. Shorting myself. Yeah. Expect more. Pay less. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 Do we have a question, Craig? <laughs> yeah, we have a few questions. Uh, we got a quick one uh, from Chase versus Game. It said, "What will New Clans next year on Patreon be? Uh, will there be a prize for forty dollars or more for a monthly subscription?" Well, we got to get rid of the thirty dollar one. If we didn't already, no, I didn't. Okay, well then, fuck. We need to get rid of that one. Uh, I owe people some songs, but I'm not going to be putting on that any longer after this. So I still have to write those songs. They will be done. They will be done in time. <laughs> but I can't do that. So actually, we only have a twenty dollars tier as our top one. So, so what should the new? So we need to create a new thirty <laughs> yeah, and so possibly a invent a forty. <laughs> a new thirty. If someone really wants to do the forty, yeah, fuck I, it. I guess. Yeah, he really wants something. Might as well so. have that five hundred dollar tier too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? The, uh, how about the pay for one person to quit their job and do podcasting full time tier, which is the two thousand dollar tier? If you want to uh, do that, yeah, we'll pay for dinner or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll send a we'll send a fucking a gift Sizzler basket a Sizzler Apple gift Beast. card. Oh, yeah, Sizzler, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere really not that great. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. 
the what do we no, have? No, no. What It'll do be we a have drawing. It'll be a drawing for a Sizzler gift <laughs> card. <laughs> I won't even be guaranteed. <laughs> well, no. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll put it in the in a drawing pot with all the other patrons. But if you're not a forty dollar one, you just don't get it. So if we pull a one that's not forty, no one gets it for that month. So no one will ever get the forty dollar or the the twenty dollar Sizzler gift card. <laughs> Uh, that's what were you about to say, Cameron? I was just like, we could figure it out later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Oh, that's a good question then. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Uh, n- next question. <laughs> well, we're thinking we'll about it. We'll figure it out. Ah, next yeah. question is, uh, an EMP attack happens. What do you all initially do, and how do you survive the fallout? The EMP? Uh, um, just the power goes out? Fucking happens all the time in Ogden. You know what oh, I do? No, no, no. Like an EMP. Yeah. So, like, no electronics will work right. again. Okay. Didn't you watch War of the Worlds where it's the cars still, like, stuff half didn't my work, time man? up in Ogden. It's, it doesn't <laughs> fucking work. Uh, what would I do? Well, fuck, I'm in a good spot for that. We got a garden. We got animals. We got yeah. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a good spot, too. So we're, just we're wait until the a, power comes back We're not on. in a busy place. We're out in the country, so it's not like a whole bunch of hobos are going to start rushing in. I can. I mean, I wouldn't have to go to work. <laughs> uh, it would be destroyed. Yeah, yeah. It's all, your, all, your, all the things that you've trained for, everything gone. Yeah. Yeah. Just in a being flash. outdoorsman. All of your knowledge. But you, you and Schweiss are like in the middle of the city, though, because like me and Joe are yeah, near like farms and shit. Like what? Well, so just because? So yeah, you're near farms and manure, but uh, hey. <laughs> are you gonna hey, eat? You. Are you gonna eat shit? <laughs> eat but shit and die. I don't understand. Like it's like society is only going to be interrupted for at most, I think, like a week, unless there's a follow up attack, because that'd be different. But since an EMP, is there going to be an actual fallout occurrence because of the EMP blast? Well, he just said, how do you survive the fallout? But, like, the fallout of there being an EMP or an actual fallout because of an EMP. I'm assuming he means, he like, means an a actual nuclear fallout. bomb. Right? Okay. So surviving the fallout, uh... Get in a fridge or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Just get in a fridge and yeah, you'll be yeah. fine. I know. We got two fridges. One of them doesn't work. So fuck it. We'll have two people in one, two people in the other. Be like... See in eight hours or whatever. I don't know. How long do we have to wait before it's like okay? But I think since it's so high up in the atmosphere, a lot of it can be blown away down to someone else. Well, but we do have that inversion cam. <laughs> oh, so if they hit us, no, 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 no. See, it's high enough up in the air that it's above the inversion when it goes oh, off. Okay. And so the inversion will protect so us. So Payson's gonna get fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like you're not doing okay anymore, Craig. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll, I'll have, have to get one of my safe smokers' lungs over my here. My assumption is that there wouldn't. I mean, unless we got hit with a huge one, I not all of us would be affected here. Yeah, I don't think all of us yeah, would be we're, affected. We're, we're, too, too, we're spread too spread out. out. Yeah, they could. They could do it over Draper. Wow, it's Robo. like we're all like at certain point. We have to find out the distance between each of us and see if there's an average because I think it's pretty close. I think hmm. the worst is from you to me. Yeah, you to me is long. It's like hey, yours is... Murray is the halfway point, and that's north of you. Only like 10 minutes north. Yeah, so 10 minutes north, half, halfway. Yeah, 10 minutes is a lot, though, <laughs> because Murray's only 30 minutes from I here. I think that's only me and Provo halfway, so it's even longer between me and Spring and Payson. You know? It's a long fucking way, dude. Yeah, I, I do a lot of driving here. And then if I have to ask you guys to drive fucking to Payson and back, or my God, to Draper and back, uh, you know, we get like, nah, nah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> driving? Oh! Yeah, I drove Caleb home plenty of times. I have too. Yeah, we've all drove Caleb home plenty of times, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's what you do when someone's stranded. You go and you take them home. That's what you do. Or you go to work and make somebody else do it. Or you just say no, and you make them get a fucking Uber all the way up to Salt Lake. That's right. Like a cocksucker. That's right. When you don't actually have anything going on. Wait, what? what, this is getting Uh, very specific. You're assuming that I didn't have anything going on. I assume it wasn't as important as Cameron's well-being, who was abandoned by Joe, who... I had a fucking migraine. Has Fuck asked you. you to marry him, and you considered what? 
Uh, you were responsible for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This got way off topic. Uh, yep. What was the question again? Uh, okay, how do, do you survive do a fallout? fallout? <laughs> and then the EMP strike happens. I don't know. I'd have to like Google what to do with a fallout. See, the one crazy <laughs> thing about you, Utah... like, I'd have to Google in an environment where there's no Google. I'm saying... <laughs> I'm saying that, you know, I assume we'd be be in nuclear war before someone targets Utah. Like, that would be a later down the yeah, road sort Utah, of target. U- yeah, Utah seems like so, a last target. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really but does. An, like, any crazy any thing Midwest though? state. <laughs> another crazy Denver thing, though, is uh, yeah. everyone here in Utah has food stored for days. So That's true, yeah, the, the, the food prep thing, right? Yeah. I would just... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd probably just loot somebody's food prep. So <laughs> I don't have any of mine. So, <laughs> and I mean, whoever survives is clearly the more dominant of the species, so they deserve mm. the food. So, yeah, if I surprise good. attack them, I'll probably survive. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think it would affect life. I mean, like, how long are things going to be off for until they start fixing and replacing it? Does, I just I just see like it being like a week to a week and a half of the power being out, and that's hundred percent survivable. Yeah, how long would it take them to get things up and running? Not again? that long. Well, it depends on how much damage there is from the nuclear attacks. Yeah, but so you so but he just said there was an EMP and then fallout. You don't he didn't you don't say understand there was fucking nuclear that blast. That's true. They've been waiting for stuff. So that solar solar do. flares are also another thing that can knock out electronics. Yeah. And a lot of oh, power stations yeah, and a lot of a lot of you know government facilities will have replacement <laughs> parts for these ready to go just in that event. So. <laughs> What? Craig's like that and magnets. Yeah, no, I said they're gonna <laughs> drop a giant. No, that's magnet not what I fucking said. You done. asshole. <laughs> I said it's because it's like uh, it has a magnetic force in solar oh, flares. Oh. That's why there's. That's why it knocks out electronics. Oh, see, thing see, thing see I, I, cock. I, I thought like oh, that. And oh, magnets yeah, is magnets what I will do it. Like, yeah, you know, Craig, no they're gonna shit. they're gonna fly a billion ton magnet over the United States and just why hover the fuck it there. Not? Why the fuck not? Like everything fries. It's like the most expensive attack. Do you imagine how much shit would just fly up at it? <laughs> yeah. I'd see a lot of people going up there with all their piercings. I could just I could just imagine them flying over my uh my factory and then like all the safes just like coming up and just fucking like <laughs> flying through the fucking plane. <laughs> there it is, the magnet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumbass. I just want to see Craig the magnet. climb into a safe to protect himself. Yeah, totally do that. Pour, yeah. and, pour Dude, himself you into fucking, a safe. You, you as underestimate safe. <laughs> how giant these fucking safes are. Do you yeah, underestimate like a... how giant you are? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, Not these are like fucking huge. huge. I got one of them walk-in safes. Dude, some of them practically arsenal. are. <laughs> Mr. I'm not 396 pounds and two witnesses didn't <laughs> <Yeah>. see it. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, was... I'm more like 270. I've never said that. I know you have. I'm sure you have at some point in your life. Sure, yeah, I'm sure at some point you were 270. What are you saying? You just skipped the 200s? You yeah, fucking, I did. You went 199 <laughs> to 300 in one night? <laughs> yeah. Is that the night the host is closed? It was. <laughs> I, I gained a lot of weight then, too, actually. <laughs> it wasn't 101 pounds, but... <laughs> he had bags of Twinkies. <laughs> I did. I paid, I paid for every one of them, though. I'll, I'll say I never stole a single thing. Oh, that time. No Twinkie the Kid? <laughs> that time? Oh, I did steal Twinkie the Kid. They sent, like, a boxes of Twinkie the Kid bobbleheads, and there were three of them. And I was like, oh, these are gifts. And then I, like, handed them out to me and the other employees. And then, like, four days later, we got price tags for the Twinkie the Kid bobbleheads. And I was like, hmm, it's too late for that now. <laughs> like, why would you Why would wow. you send it without the price? Like, no one no one said anything. And it's her gifts. Yeah, then I was thinking, like, who the fuck would buy, like, some freaky you think Twinkie Hostess the Kid? cares enough? Yeah. About your employees to give them Twinkie like, the I thought, Kid. I mean, I, I thought so, but I guess not. We love our employees. They make us go out of business. That's right. Yeah. It wasn't the employees' fault. Eh? Yeah, I don't know. They actually, in the end, it kind of was because they struck and it closed down. Nice. Way to go, unions. Yeah. Thanks go. for not unions stealing Twinkie. The hostess. Thanks for not stealing Twinkie the Kid and <laughs> being happy with your life. Now, could you eat Twinkies during a nuclear fallout? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be pretty. They'd be fine. But how irradiated would they get? 
I mean, they're the rappers. So Aren't really they know. already? Like, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that the thing with Twinkies? <laughs> Just forever. Yeah, but we have to. How many half lives do Twinkies have? <laughs> <laughs> At least a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they like cockroaches? Don't they just survive forever? The great survivor. Yeah, but I've never looked at nuclear fallout. Honestly, they kind of, after like the first four days, they taste the same for probably the next like five years. They might get harder, but the the flavor is just awful almost immediately. <laughs> Loses all. So are Twinkies good or are Twinkies real shitty? That's the question that we all need to ask. If they're ourselves. brand new, they're pretty good, but they're not, so... How, have you have you tried the new Twinkie? That There's came like out? about a billion little Debbie things that I would eat before I would eat a Twinkie. Like, <laughs> yeah. If I were stuck in a bread store, you'd want to be in the little I think Debbie the store. The Twinkie would be sourdough pretty late in the in the me being stuck in a bread store eating only bread. I would eat bread first because it's going to go bad. Yeah, it would it would go bad first. So you got to eat like the grandma sycamores. You got to get all that. Got to push it onto a pile and fall asleep on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you got to make your little Use bed. It as a bed. <laughs> bread <laughs> throne. And like in the back, it's like baguette. So it's like the iron throne. <laughs> <laughs> and to, uh, wait, what goes, from what goes bad throne. faster, baguette or uh, or like regular white bread? Um, probably baguette. I would assume they have less preservatives. Yeah. Turns preservatives rock hard. Yeah, yeah, it would turn hard, hard real quick. But that'll keep real it quick. fresh, or not fresh, but it'll keep Schweiss it. Not That's what I said. I said real quick. Schweiss from his bread throne. Yeah, <laughs> dun, I have dun, to let dun, you dun, go. Dun, dun. You don't do enough here. Yeah. As he lazes about in his fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Bread, the bread bed. Well, the they back. didn't know I. They didn't know I was doing that. So, <laughs> and look, it was before I. Nobody in. would expect anyone to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I should have done it. I should have like gotten a bucket of water and just like dunked bread in it and like molded myself uh, a chair. <laughs> oh, just like hardened bread. Uh. <laughs> Uh, and then, like, <laughs> no, and then sat in it wearing the bread man costume that we used those one time. <laughs> like, just a giant slice of bread sitting on a throne of bread. <laughs> That's what I should have done. I just sat there. Like, yes, all there was day. a bread costume. <laughs> it was. It was a giant slice of bread. It was hilarious. Yeah. And there was a perfect little shelf inside of it to hold a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got your wine coolers in there. <laughs> oh, man. As you come back in, it's just like you just hear a bunch of cans rattling. You got a shitload of beer. Just <laughs> seem a little sloshed in there. <laughs> yeah. It's heat exhaustion. <laughs> oh, man. That cost him a little June. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. And that, oh, man, that thing stank, too, because you're all in there sweating. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd probably be fine, though, if we got EMP'd. It, I don't think it would last forever. <laughs> And if it did, I mean, you would just go in the woods. You'd find some cabin that's been abandoned and, you know, like if society fell, that's what you would do. But I don't know if it would fall after just one EMP. Yeah, it wouldn't be too long. Unless there was a follow-up attack. I mean, why would you EMP a place just to do that? Just be like a dick? Ha! Your power's gone. That's why people do DDoS attacks. Well, and for money. It could be yeah. like, we got a second EMP. Unless you yeah, but why up. Utah? Yeah, I, yeah, I can't figure it out. But see, see, th- there's, there's got to be a reason. I got to be a follow up. No, I know why. It's because Horizon Zero Dawn happened here. Uh, we do well, have, so they have the, the entire world was Hill fucked over Space. though. They don't it was know that. Just Utah. They just, they. I mean, we don't know that as the player, the people that died yes, thousands of years ago. <laughs> we only see, we only see this area. It's because that's you where see, they happened to you be. see New Mexico, you see Colorado for a large part of. It. I think. Most of techno- technological stuff happened in Colorado. Hmm. Provo Temple's there. Provo Temple is in Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, King's sorry. Peak is like 10 seconds to hike, which is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one chick that was running past us. God. That ran up to the top and then back down before we... That's 26 got, like, miles, just a, just a lovely little jog. Yeah. 26 miles both ways. Is it both? No, no, it's no, just, no, it's no, just okay. one way. It's God, one that round makes trip. Sound, that makes it sound really shitty, though. Because it's like, 
If it were 52, then it'd be fucking insane. We right? were up but in like 10,000 feet. Fuck everybody who like who would listen to that and be like, what a bunch of puss. Well, it's not that. I mean, it didn't take it that was long. A, it was a, almost a mile of elevation gain. We should do it in a day this time. Just over 5,000 5, something feet. When we do King's Peak, what we have to do, though, is get to base camp day one. Yeah. No more of this fucking four-day King's Peak thing. We got to base camp and then, like, King's Peak and then leave. We'd have to get there earlier. Yeah. Well, it's a long... I mean, oh, we no, got we were, we were there for a long time. Yeah, yeah we, we, right. got, we did, like... It was, like, five hours or four hours for the first half. Yeah. So, like, we could do an eight-hour day and get to the base of King's Peak. And then King's Peak, of course... Wouldn't we just be more dead <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, though? Probably, yeah. So I remember getting up to that... There was a... That, place that was like all rock and they had a trail carved out you know oh yeah the yeah pass there that gunsight pass like that that felt so shitty <laughs> it's just like so much wind and it was real tough getting up there so imagine doing that after like getting acclimated to hiking i don't you know get, you sure you don't want to do the 14ers instead like because <laughs> those are just really brutal for like half a day yeah but you just have a a base camp, and then you're just hiking up a mountain. You're not backpacking at that point. Well, yeah, but, I mean, that's easier because you can bring as much shit as you want. Right. I want to go backpacking, though. Greg? Did you go to Zion with us? No. no. It was Yumi, Dylan. Yumi, Dylan, Timo. Dylan, Timo, yeah. And they Dylan. were way in way better shape than us. Yeah. So they were, like, destroying but- us. But... I did actually make that hike. I so yeah. That was different. <laughs> it was nice waiting for you too. It was up there. We were up there for like twenty minutes, and it was. God, I never bring enough water. It was cool. I can never bring enough water on these fucking things. Yeah. Next time I'm just gonna bring a fucking gallon. Well, the problem is, is you're gonna be backpacking, so you don't really don't want to do that. No, I really don't. But... Somebody bought didn't didn't camp. Wasn't it you that bought the like pump? Because we had like a filter, didn't we? Oh yeah. I Joe bought the okay. pump filter. Yeah. Because that's like what kept us alive. Do you basically. need that again? Yeah, probably. Yeah. If we're going to go to King's Peak, yeah. I think you right have is. to put it in bleach water to clean it out again after it's not been used for a long time. So I can give it to you next week. We should do We should do. Yeah, we should do it. I, I want to do this, like, really bad. You want to do I, King's I Peak in do, two weeks. So I'll, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys the date of when it's going to happen. So it hasn't been decided yet. Um, oh, I thought this was the camping trip that you be... wanted to do when we were pre-recording this episode. No, no, no. So I want to do King's Peak. I'm doing that here regardless. I was thought we oh, were to do okay. just a normal base camp hiking thing that you could still oh, be a part of. We could be somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm doing King's Peak, and you guys can come. Okay. Wait, what are you doing it then? So that's what I'm going to come back with. So we're oh, still okay. figuring out the date, but. Uh, other people who have not done King's Peak before are going, and then I I said, hey, you know, we could do it all in one or two days, but they're all like not wanting. Three to. days would probably be the most. Three days is the is a common thing to do. Yeah, yeah. get there like Schweiss was saying to mm-hmm. base camp. I would just actually go a little closer than we were last time. Yeah, but um, we had a nice sheltered spot though. We did, but it was like. It was still another horrible. fucking mile to our camp after we had gotten off the mountain. So yeah, I would want to get rid of that mile <laughs> after that. Uh, we should get to the the like. Plateau. I would also start later. I would start when it was warmed up. Yeah, it was fucked up because so it was nice cold. coming I down. Love the cold. So fucking cold, dude. Love the cold. The wind was sick. No man, that was like the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. Like just actually, it was worse when I got up the mountain a little bit ways, but. The fucking cold was so bad, and I, my jacket was too thin for what was up there. It's just like, oh, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Any other questions? We obviously we didn't yeah, answer we this just, one very adequately. Yeah, we had two, so it's fine. Wait, okay. what was the? Oh, the first one was the. Okay, yeah, all right, okay, fine, fine. Well, then let's get into the history of video games, part six. After our hike conversation. Yep. And our unions <laughs> conversation. Yeah, yeah. This is a real video game episode. All right, so we're going to be talking about the the fifth generation of video games. Unfortunately, I don't have any snacks of any kind. Your uh, gratitude. You should have brought your cheese block and just, like, shaved off a <laughs> just cheese like, shaving. It's for you. Just a bunch of cheese cubes. With Here's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a voucher. It's a voucher system here, guys. 
Just do what uh, just do what Schweiss did and be like, I'll give you a two liter. The IOUs. Yeah. Hey, that's good, but I gotta keep track of your points then. Um well, if you, you'll else, get this. You'll get two thirds of my. Keep track of you'll get two thirds of my one liter of Diet Mountain Dew. Is you and your everyone. <laughs> your, you and your everyone's a winner scheme. Everyone gets a piece of candy, not just the winner. Well, this one is just the winner, though. This one is if just the just winner. Keep Fine, track of. I'll get you a fucking two liter in between episodes. How about that? I don't want a two liter. I'm just saying. Why he not? Always have a, he always has What's a very a very liberal <laughs> approach to awarding us for these episodes. <laughs> You know what? Try to keep everybody involved here. Craig doesn't need to be involved. <laughs> Why? Because it's going to beat your ass? I don't think you are this time. <laughs> Fifth generation of video games um, was from 1993 to 2001. What was the most distinguishing feature of this generation in comparison discs. to the previous generation? Discs. First discs. It's not the first disc, actually. Uh, 3D graphics. 3D graphics is the correct yeah, one. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, one of the consoles last generation had CDs. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, CD-ROMs, though, was a very big part of this. Um, three of the four main big consoles that came... Or three of the big of the five big consoles were all CD-ROM. Um, when the last generation, there was only one. Uh, there was also... 16-bit depth of audio, which is CD quality audio. Um, what was another thing? How did people? What, what was another thing that separated last generation from the from this generation of games? It separated last generation. From I'm this sorry, one? this generation from last generation. Um, just just keep spitballing them. There's a couple more. Memory cards. I don't know. No, not memory cards. Uh, controllers? What, what, what kind of controllers? Wireless controllers. No. I don't think no, I don't Deta- think yeah. Rumble Detachable controllers. No, uh, analog controllers. Mm. Analog. Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Close. I would say, so 3D graphics, he gets one, and then he gets another one for controllers, I guess, is the just regular... <laughs> Um, no, look at so hot there, Schweiss. Uh, what's are uh, what's something <laughs> that like let's say FF seven was famous for and uh, multiple discs? Oh, um, poly- pre rendered pre- backgrounds. Fuck, I was about to yeah. say that. Uh, close, not backgrounds. Pre rendered uh, graphics. Yeah, uh, pre rendered video. Oh, oh. <laughs> full full motion. Oh yeah, FMV. Full yeah. motion pre rendered video sequences. Oh. Um, and then the display resolution, 480i to uh, 576i. Um, and then it had what bit color? Uh, uh, 64. Mm, too high. 32. Too high. 48. Uh, yeah. 24. 24 color. bit. The Nintendo color. 64. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what that means now. Um, so it officially ended this generation 1993 to 2001 with the discontinuation of what in march of 2005 playstation there you go playstation good job there's another one fuck you (laughs) 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 only two behind now craig so uh so the 3d with the popularity of games like uh virtua fighter tomb raider and super mario 64 the gaming industry started moving away from the side-scrolling and rail shooters, which were really popular from the previous generation, which right. was the Super NES generation, pretty much, um, and what the Sega Genesis, I think. And uh, and then the 3D realms, they started using in advertising as a way to say that there's more gaming, there's more open doors to other types of games that you've never seen before, basically. So they really... Uh, they really pushed the 3D on all of the systems. Like that was like kind of the the huge thing with this generation. And now, of course, we're living in the aftermath of that. You know, a 2D game is rare. Yeah, it is a rarity. Even though there were 2D games on these systems, obviously. Yeah. So CDs as well. Uh, after Nintendo uh, had Sony and Philips create uh, CD-ROM prototype consoles for them. Uh, the PlayStation, I think we talked about this on the UFF episode, there was the PlayStation, two words, and then Sony, when they were done working for Nintendo, made the PlayStation, one word. Um, Nintendo decided to go with cartridge-based uh, games regardless uh, with the N64. 
citing shorter load times and decreased piracy. It also allowed them to charge developers more for licensing costs, though, which uh, caused EA Sports to walk away from them uh, as well a as a lot of people walked away. Yeah, from a lot, them. a lot of a lot of third party developers walked away with them as well as Square, uh, Square Co. Uh, famously, and of course we got a Final Fantasy show, so I have to mention them who didn't want to pay for the high capacity cartridges uh, and instead spread FF7 over three CD ROMs on the PlayStation. So that was uh, that FF7 also really helped the PlayStation become like a big deal as well. Yeah. Um, spreading it over three CD ROMs, I guess was cheaper than doing the one high capacity cartridge for Nintendo. Plus the light sync fee was higher and they want, they of course FF7 at the time and it still is one of the highest um, costing, like one of the most costly video games ever. Yeah. It's I think it's still like the fifth, like highest. It's, it's huge. It cost a <laughs> shitload of money to make that game. Um, so the thir- uh, first 32-bit console on the market was a powerful machine called the what? What was the first console of this generation? Dreamcast. Uh, Sega Saturn? Nope. Uh, PlayStation. Nintendo 64. Nope. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first? The first one <laughs> of this, uh, this generation. It's some no name, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it always is. The <laughs> FM Towns Marty. Oh. Fuck you and your <laughs> FM the Towns fuck Marty. Is Towns Marty. What is that? Uh, it was released on February twentieth, nineteen ninety three, setting off this generation. Only in Japan, and, oh, it, and it failed to make uh, much of an impact. Even though apparently it was a really like powerful system, um, and it was like an update of the FM Towns which is a Japanese thing uh, I didn't quite get. So whatever the fuck that is, it's an update to. Other consoles brought to market that didn't do very well as well. Uh, If you guys can get any of these, you get a point. Mm. I got five consoles here that have not been mentioned at all. (sighs) Fuck. And they're small? They didn't do that well. None of them sold more than uh, a certain amount of units. Uh, Which is also another question in a second. I was going to say, I mean, a certain amount. I think all of them could not have sold a certain <laughs> amount. Uh, Magnavox do anything? <laughs> no, no, no. Damn it. Uh, Atari? Uh, na- I'll keep naming companies. I'll give you one if you can name one of these companies. That um, Fapco. Fapco? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Uh, I have don't, to look that up. Namco. I don't think Coleco. No. no. Uh... uh Think Fine. about okay. Think about, <laughs> think about keyboards. Logitech. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 not computer keyboard. Yamaha. Uh, Yamaha's close. <laughs> uh, Suzuki. <laughs> Car station. <laughs> Car right station. With, uh, you're close with the k- a k- keyboard. Kawasaki. Oh my God, <laughs> Casio! Ca- oh. Casio Loopy was yeah, one of them. Casio. The Loopy, the Loopy, yeah. The Playdia, the PCFX, <laughs> the Amiga CD32, <laughs> which sold outside of the U.S. It never came here because the uh, company Commodore uh, went under. And then uh, there's another big, big company that t- tried making a console and it didn't do well. Another mm. huge company right now. They're huge now? They're huge now. They were pretty big back then. Microsoft. Close. Apple. Apple. Camera gets oh, a point. Really? <laughs> Apple Bandai Pippin. Okay. Say, I, I did know that. That's a console they tried to make. fucking name. Console. Apple Bandai Pippin. Is that dumber than the Casio Loopy? <laughs> so they partnered with Bandai what is to more make fun. a console? I mean, they did partner with Bandai to make a console. Casio Loopy is f- more fun, I would say. <laughs> Casio Loopy! <laughs> Wee! It was probably really <laughs> shitty, though. <laughs> Fuck this thing, got man. got to appeal to the children. None of these consoles ever shipped more than how many units? 500,000. Uh, That's true, but it's actually a lower number. 20,000. <laughs> Not that low. 250,000. 250,000. Uh, 150,000. Lower. I'm just going with 50,000. Uh, 75,000. 
in the middle, somewhere in there. 100,000. There you go. Caleb <laughs> Twice gets it at 100,000 units. <laughs> go fuck yourself, Twice. Gotta wait for you to do the legwork. Uh, none of them sold more than 100,000 units. Uh, pretty bad. Leaving the other consoles in the dust, there are five main consoles that the fifth generation is remembered for. Name them. PlayStation, Nintendo 64. Uh, Sega Saturn. Uh, uh, He's got two. He's got Sega one. Dreamcast. And no more Segas. Oh, no. Um, oh, fuck. There's two more. These ones I did not know until I did this shit. Actually, I've but heard well of known. one of them, but I didn't know it was part of this generation. Oh. Fuck. They're way more well-known than the ones that didn't do well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the Game Boy? Uh, no, no, no handhelds. I'm not talking about this. I don't know. I only yeah. remember the big ones. Anybody? Atari. Oh, Atari what? Atari... 6400? No. 7200? <laughs> no, nope, that was last generation, I think. Atari 94,000? It's another word. It's not a number. Atari. Uh, Atari Power. No, can't be Power. I'll just give it a camera for saying Atari. Yes. Atari, Atari Jaguar. Oh, the Jaguar. That's yeah. right. That's a terrible name. For and me. then the 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. That's the <laughs> other one. It was bigger than the Atari. Um, grab an old Atari. And so now we're now we got to do it by the numbers here. So obviously we're familiar mostly with the N64, the PlayStation. Somewhat familiar with the Saturn existing, but neither of none of us have played the Atari Jaguar or yeah, the 3DO. Can we say I that? Swear, I, I swear, Dreamcast was like there before, before the uh, the Saturn. Anyway, so units sold. How many units? Well, I'll give you guys each one guess, and whoever gets closest will get the point. All right. How many units did the Atari Jaguar sell? Atari Jaguar. Uh, 123,000 or millions? Oh, 123,000. Okay. I'm going to go with the nice rounded 250,000. 250,000? It's um, right on the money. Camera gets it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, game game. <laughs> it was exactly. Probably not exactly, but it was two hundred fifty thousand on the uh, on the mark there. Uh, how many did the three DO sell? Um, four hundred thousand. Okay. Uh, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. I mean, though, I told you it was more than the Jaguar. Oh, oh. <laughs> dang it, didn't. Let's go with the nice, well-rounded four hundred thousand. Did you guys both just say four hundred thousand? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 401,000. Okay. <laughs> Camera <laughs> gets it at 400. <laughs> two dick. million, two million units sold of the 3DO. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> fucking cocksucker. Uh, 3DO, I think, did better outside of the States. Uh, I think I remembered reading that, but don't take my word on that one. Um, Sega Saturn. How many units did the Sega Saturn earn? Uh, Sell. let's go. Ship. Not sure what the number is. Uh, let's go nine million. Nine million. Okay. One million. No. One million. Is it? Yeah. Just make a guess, Cam Cam. Don't try to pry for information, you fucking <laughs> cocksucker. Nine and, nine million and one. I'm <laughs> just joking. Oh, no. <laughs> you ten, ten ten piece of shit. Ten million. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Fifteen million. Okay, you're that guy on Price is Right. That's a fucking asshole. <laughs> Caleb Craig was technically closer with nine point two six million. Damn it! <laughs> you should have done nine, nine million, million one. one. <laughs> 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 Caleb Craig gets a point. Ah, nine point two six million. So there's dip. there's quite a big. Uh, obviously, we've heard of the Sega Saturn, Craig. and that's a seven million units difference. Is whether or not you remembered fifteen years later, or whatever. Yeah. More than that. Fucking 20-something years later. Okay. How many units did the Nintendo 64 sell? Ooh. Oh. And these numbers are as of 2007, by the way. 2007? Yeah. Mm. 200. No, I'm going to let him go. 
two hundred million? Yeah, of course you're gonna let me go. You're gonna take your gas off of mine, you piece of shit. No, we uh, just gotta go in order. Uh huh. Um, you got the last one. Don't I, know. I know. Still though, it's all you people do. Every time I guess, you, you guys are like, mm. Caleb's guess. You go but one high, slightly one. 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 <laughs> um, I'll rip it from his hands. Let's go twenty-six million. Twenty-six million. It's a good mm. guess. Thirty million. Thirty million. Thirty-five million. Mm. <laughs> Schweiss gets it. Damn it. Uh, thirty-two point nine three million. It would be. 32.5 would have been... Yeah, whatever. Damn right. it. Sorry, man. You were real close, though. <laughs> so I used to get that one. 32.93 million uh, units of Nintendo 64. And then, of course, how many did the PlayStation sell? And the PS... Or or the PS1, PSX, or whatever. It's all the same thing. And his numbers are still 2007? Yeah. Still 2007, yeah. I mean, they stopped making them in 2005, so I think we're pretty safe yeah, here. I think 07 is probably a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I probably bought mine in 2005. Mm, let's go... Do you have a... 42 million. 42 million. Do you have a mini? Is that you have? Yeah. I, I had the last did. one that they made. The very last one off the line. Yeah, probably. It just said the last it was one. Just Shopco. You Shopco never gets rid of their video games. They just keep them around forever until they finally fucking sell. Walmart doesn't either, and there's <coughs> a copy of like the three pack Grand Theft Auto games on PS2. Oh, still. Really? <laughs> I kind of want it, but I'm like, nah. Fifty three. It depends on the Walmart. Point Some of them seven do million. Get rid of them. What? Fifty three point seven. Fifty three point seven. How many did the cat? Okay, well, he said fifty. said forty two. The forty two. Sorry. Fifty three. Point seven. Are you fucking looking up stats, you piece of shit? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clue. He's not looking up stats at all. There's a clue. He's saying I'm off the mark, is he's, what he's saying. I'm saying he's way off. Um, I'm going to go 60. I think it's higher, though. It's way higher. I think it's 100. Damn. 102 million. Okay. So no, I wanted to say... I knew it was going to be a lot. I almost fuck. said 101, but I was like, that might be another PlayStation, and I didn't want to blow my no, wad. No, that first PlayStation, dude, 100 million units. Fucking, I thought the N64 was bigger than the PlayStation. This was a big hellabaloo on fucking UFF, is because I said, no. Like, it was fact. It was like, no, the N64 was a bigger system. No, dude. The problem is that everybody around me had an N64, and I was, like, stuck in my bubble of people that had N64s, right? Not that I had any, but, like, all my friends growing up had N64s, and none of them had a PlayStation. So I found it odd that when we did the UFF episode that covered this generation that it was, like, so much bigger than the N64. It wasn't even funny. It was huge. Um, that gap apparently it's not as big here. So the the PlayStation did way better outside of the U.S. Yeah. Than than the N sixty four. When most of N sixty four sales were actually U.S. sales, and that the gap is only about twenty million consoles different, not seventy million consoles different here in the U.S. So in my defense, it's not as big of a difference over here. They were both pretty big consoles. I wonder there. how Nintendo felt about that. Like, I don't know, because when I think of that generation, I think... I mean, obviously, I love the Final Fantasy games, and there's a lot of PlayStation 1 titles that I know, but the titles from N64, I feel like, are more... Maybe because they're part of big franchises that have that continued Golden on. Eye. But yeah, I'm thinking of like yeah things like GoldenEye or Donkey Kong 64 or Mario 64. They seem to me bigger in the zeitgeist. And it's just a feel thing. Well, it's because they never died. Than uh, than the other stuff. So Final then Fantasy. Died. They're giant. Yeah, they're giant series that continue on for like every yeah, Nintendo. Final console. Fantasy. So it's like literally all Nintendo has. Came. Final Fantasy died when Cup Noodle came. I think it died before then. And was actually pretty resurrected by when Cup Noodle came. In terms of sales, right? Eight well, million. Something. We should see how much Cup Noodle paid. <laughs> All uh, right, Square probably paid that. Can you guys guess the biggest game on the Atari Jaguar? Pac-Man. Wait, what? On the Atari Jaguar, what the biggest game was? The biggest game? Pong 3D. No. 
No, this guy on chat said as someone who grew up outside of the U.S., he, he hadn't even heard of the N64. Oh, wow. That's wow. crazy. Pop Man, is that you said? Maybe he's heard of the 3DO. <laughs> yeah, that's the, he's playing it right now. <laughs> he's playing it on the 3DO right now. <laughs> uh, Great system. I can't even... Just do Burger Time. It's not Burger Time. I can. It should be. It's based that. on a uh, really popular comic book series that later turned into a movie. Spawn, Punisher, Batman. That was also based on two series of movies. Two series of movies. Spider Man. Two like series five. of movies owned by 20th Century. Oh my Fox. God! Tur- uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm, the movies came and- first. And then comic books were made based upon oh, the idea that first? these two franchises could come together in some way. And then in around, I think around 2005 or six, then there Alien was Alien Pre- Alien and go. Predator. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that... How many fucking clues do you guys need? God, dude, you fucking said something that ex- that described Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exactly. Well, I thought it wasn't Ninja Turtles. That wasn't a movie first, was it? Well, you said movie first after you said it was a comic series and, and then there were and then you said there were two series of movies, oh, which sorry. there are. So it's like that's fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja there's, Turtles. There's Alien, there's Predator and then they made a comic book about them versing yeah, okay. each other and then yeah. it was finally a movie right. later. Yeah. Right. Alien versus Predator. Classic. Classic game. Uh, classic game. <laughs> Uh, 50,000 units sold. I'm not even going to get let you guys guess on that one. We need to get a Jaguar and play that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me the fucking point for that piece so, of shit. The 3DO multiplayer was uh, mostly known for being able to play a lot of PC games, like a lot of PC ports, including Alone in the Dark, apparently, was on the... Uh, oh, wonderful. It was God. a big uh, 3DO <laughs> game. Was it? Uh, can you guys... I, I've never heard of this fucking game. Can you guys guess the biggest game on the 3DO multiplayer? Sold, um, it sold one million units, which uh, is half the sales of the console itself. That's insane. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> had this game. It's um, a possible PC port? Uh, I don't think it is. I think it's actually an original game, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Grandia. Grandia. Okay. Even though I know that's not, not at all. Whoever that's gets the a, name, a a name that sounds kind of close to it, I'll give it to. Uh... Formula One. <laughs> he says Formula One. God Eater. Um, God, I don't know. Fuck. It's... God, I know. God, I don't know. Fuck. Uh, wipe out. Wipe out. <laughs> Which uh, is totally Schweiss's guess had a G in it. <laughs> so Schweiss is gonna get a point. The game is called Gex. Yeah, oh great. wait, what Gex? Yeah, like Gex. the fucking G E X Gecko dude, the I platformer. Think so, actually, that was on PS One as well. It probably sold more on the PS One. <laughs> probably. <laughs> no idea. No idea if it did. Get us Gex numbers. Gex numbers. <laughs> Pause the show. <laughs> wait, wait. How was it spelled again? G E X. Okay, yeah, it's totally that game. Okay, I know what you're talking. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Schweiss and Schweiss had two G guesses, so there you go. He gets the point. Uh, Sega Saturn, <laughs> uh, biggest game on Sega Saturn. Sonic, Sonic, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog two. three. No, no Sonics. Rayman, um, Legends. No Rayman. Castlevania. I actually Mortal miss- Kombat. I mentioned this game earlier. You mentioned it earlier. Yeah, I did. Fuck. Donkey Kong Country. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't know. Pac-Man. 3D Pac-Man. There is a 3D Pac-Man game. Virtua Fighter 2. Oh, Virtua Fighter? That What? Come on. Yeah, 1.7 million units sold of that. Uh, And then we're going to get into the top three on the N64 and on the PlayStation. Um, Can you guys... Just throw out names for the N64 and uh, if Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, and uh, Star Fox 64. Okay, Caleb gets one point for Mario 64. Um, what? Is it really not? The other two weren't on there? Smash Bros. Orcarina of Time. No, you only get three guesses each. Fuck you. Smash, Ocarina. Um, I want to say Star Wars Podracer, but I'm not going to. <laughs> 
That game was sweet. We already did Donkey Kong, right? Yeah, he guessed it. It's not on there. You can't do that shit. You should be able to guess whatever. Top selling. Because then they could just guess whatever I didn't guess. You get guess. three. You get three guesses. You only have one more guess. And you didn't get any of them so far. Fuck. Mario Kart 64. You already... Oh, yeah. Okay. He gets another point. Cameron, can you guess the one, third but... game? Can you guess the third game of so the top what, three? What, so did he already guess Super Smash? So we got Super Mario Smash 64 is... and Mario Kart 64. I might have there. said Smash, but... And they already said Smash. No. Okay. And they already said Donkey Kong, which are not in the top three. They could be in the top five. Fuck if I know. Well, since you don't let me guess anymore, let me see what no. it is. No. Yes. Yeah, because it's too close to my other shit. Goldeneye. Gold- Golden Eye oh. is another one. Is, I, that's, what were we thinking? <laughs> I don't know because Cameron it, said it earlier. That was a huge game. How the yeah. fuck was it not Arcarena of Time or any other Legend of Zelda? Cares. It wasn't. Legend is, is not as big as we all think it is. It's sometimes. really not. Um, Dude, per, fucking per Breath game. of the Wild per outsold game. the Switch. Yeah, but the Switch hasn't really sold that many copies. Anyway. I mean, it's been a good success, but it's still we're not about. talking like PS1 or Wii. So you guys guessed it pretty much in the order that it came. So Super Mario 64 was the biggest. Um, Mario Kart 64 was the second biggest, and GoldenEye 007 was the next biggest. So Yeah, 007, you, you half a point for... We're going to go one Just at a time. Good. We're going to go up. <laughs> We're going to go the, up. So don't do the, the stupid thing where you say the lower number after someone guesses the higher number, and I tell you clearly that the next one is a higher number. GoldenEye 007, how many copies did that sell? Remember, the console sold 32 million, right? Uh, let's go with... 32.93. Uh, mm. GoldenEye. Let's go with 13 million. You say 13? 14.2. 7 million. Caleb Schweiss gets it at 8.09 million. You guys million. are crazy. That would be like one out of every three having GoldenEye. Yeah. Yeah. I got Pretty I much at it. Everybody had pretty... GoldenEye. <laughs> Two thirds of the people did not. <laughs> yeah. The other people had uh, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies or whatever the fuck that uh, Or Perfect Dark. Yeah. The other games. Yeah. They, they, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow Never All right, Dies. So GoldenEye 007 was 8.09 million. Mario Kart 64. How many copies did that sell? Mm, 11 million. 11. 14.2. 14. Why do you keep guessing 14.2? 12. 12. Uh, Caleb Craig gets it at 9.87 million. Oh, wow. That's close to Goldmine. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, stop guessing 14 is my thing here. <laughs> Super Mario 64. How many, uh, how many copies Four, do you think no, that's sold? Let's go... <laughs> <laughs> 10.5 million. 10.5. 14.2. Oh, my God, Cameron. <laughs> I told you to stop doing that. 15 million. Uh, Caleb Craig gets it again. <laughs> Super Mario 64, 11.91 million Didn't that million come copies. with the console for a while, though? Am what? I thinking of something else? What? Super Mario 64? No, I don't 64. think it did. No, it's Super. Uh, as far as I know, Nintendo 64 didn't have anything that came with it. Not Whoa. like Super Nintendo did. Oh, so Super NES had one. Super NES had uh, Super Mario World come yeah. with it, and like I think a few other games. I knew one of them had one, and it was like a retarded amount of sales, and it was because they were like, oh, you got yeah, one it, with the console. I thought like, that at first, which is why I was like guessing higher numbers, but that's... <laughs> fuck know. that. You ready for this? Top three highest PlayStation games. You guys get one guess each right now. Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. Final Fantasy VII. Final <clears throat> Fantasy VII is the other one. Fuck. Can you guys guess Number the three? third one. PlayStation. Big PlayStation games. I want it to be Metal Gear, but it's not. It's um, never going to be. Resident Evil? No. No. Uh, Keep throwing them out, guys. <sighs> Oh, there are so many that could be up there. Cameron, you're not guessing. It's I driving. never had this console, okay? <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII? <laughs> nope. That's a good one. It's up That's there. That's a good guess. It is up there. Uh, it's probably top five. It is a sequel to what has already been said. Grand Turismo 2. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck yourself, Schweiss. That's actually the one you I have, too. You could have said that, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. How many points is that? Three he he got me. all three. He got all three. Caleb Schweiz. Just, uh, he zoomed in. Aficionado. There he, uh, <laughs> he I've looked at this. This is the generation like this and then beyond, which sucks because like one of us is going to have to plan him now because Joe's going to leave. Are the ones that I've like studied. <laughs> oh, I know. I know you have because you're yeah, a piece I've of got, shit. I've got numbers down. I've got uh-huh. all of it. Well, let's see. What number is Gran Turismo 2 in, tar- in terms of... Uh, is this the lowest sold? selling? This is the lowest selling. We'll go up. Mm, nine million. Nine million. Um, let's go with twelve million. Twelve million. Eight million. Eight million. Caleb Schweiss was really close at nine point three seven million. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gran Turismo two nine point three seven million. Okay, Final Fantasy seven. How many copies did it sell on the PlayStation? Ten million. Uh, let's go with 12 million. It's either 11 or I'm just going with 11 million. 11 million. Okay. Uh, Schweiss was almost on the money there, so it is past the 10 million point now, but back then I guess it was 9.8 million copies sold of Final Fantasy VII. Gran Turismo. How many copies? I'll go. Let's go. I'll go ten point five. Ten point five. Eleven. Eleven. Fourteen point. No. <laughs> uh, that would be pretty nuts. Thirteen. Thirteen. Schweiss is the closest once again. God and- fucking damn it! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You said ten point five. Yeah. And he said eleven. Actually, Caleb Schweiss or Caleb Craig is the closest. I'm so sorry, Schweiss. It was ten point eight five million. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha, bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Wait, how many do I have now? 14? Yeah, so you have 14. Because oh, I saw you, like, oh, cross out cross the five. Out you, like, you made it a five, and then he just erased it all. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I mean, I wrote what it about the four? <laughs> so here's what's interesting to me. It. Is that... That's what you get for cheating. Two of the of the, <laughs> the top two games, right? So Final Fantasy VII undersold the second highest N64 game. Yeah, that's what I was like, what the shit, because the PlayStation also had more sales. And then the Super Mario 64 also outsold Gran Turismo. So the PlayStation itself had way more sales, but I don't know, maybe it was all those third-party developers, but yeah, Yeah. the the bigger hits on the N64 were actually bigger hits in units sold by just a small margin than than the PlayStation titles. I mm-hmm. thought that was so, like, odd. to be, Like, because the PlayStation outsold it by 70 million units. Well, there are a lot more PlayStation games, though. That's probably why they had a yeah, wider range. Yeah, I'm thinking that of... must have been... Several yeah, it, it has to be the... To jump on the good games. <laughs> yeah. Because there aren't too much to choose from. It's the N64. We gotta do it, dude. Yeah. Um. So I just thought that was, like, an odd... Just a weird little thing. Weird little thing about that generation. So maybe, once again, and more more evidence to say why I thought the N64 was a bigger console is because I was thinking the games were bigger, but I don't know. Um, the prices of the system is the last part of our of our quiz here. Uh, we'll do a then price, and then I'll tell you the now price. So, how much did the Atari Jaguar cost back in the day? Two ninety nine. Fucking get a new shirt, Craig. Was well, it too small? No, there's a hole in the there's bottom. There's a huge hole. It's a belly button hello hole. <laughs> well, it's, no, it's not hello, quite hello. that. It was just that it was riding up because it's like right at the bottom. Um, <laughs> I know why you say goodbye. How much? Hello. How much did the Atari Jaguar cost uh, back then? Yeah, let's go with two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Three seventy five. Three seventy five. Three forty nine. Uh, Caleb Craig is the closest. With Fuck you. Two hundred. I said two ninety nine first. You cocksucker. Two hundred and forty nine. You could have kept your answer. No, that's bullshit. We can't have the same answer. It's not fair. So it was about two hundred fifty dollars back then, which is now equal to about four hundred twenty four dollars. Yeah, they were fucking expensive. Atari Jaguar. That's not even close to the what's coming. Three do. I'm assuming these are in. Okay, I'm gonna go two ninety nine. There's no. There's not an order to this one. Oh well, never mind then. I don't want to do that, uh, <laughs> but I'll keep it, even though I'm two ninety nine. Okay, I'll go three fifty. Three fifty. 
375. Oh, I'm going to get it, I think. Cameron is closest. What? Oh, my <laughs> God. The That's 3DO. Horrifying. The 3DO. <laughs> Back then, and this is why they say it didn't sell as well as the other consoles, despite being a really good system. 3DO back then cost more than the PlayStation 3 did at launch. The yeah. 3DO back then cost $700. What? People, are, people were weak on the PS3. Two million <laughs> copies, two million units sold of a $700 system That's back little... then. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, now... And U.S. dollars, one thousand one hundred eighty-six dollars. If you told me we had a twelve hundred dollar console, if the PlayStation Five was twelve hundred dollars, I would not play. I would not get it. That's, I'd be like, you can go fuck yourself. Guess who's becoming an Xbox guy? <laughs> Just immediately. Uh, Sega Saturn. Uh, Saturn. I'll go two ninety nine on this one. Okay, three hundred. I'll go two seventy five. Two seventy five. Three fifty. Three fifty. Cameron is the closest with four hundred dollars. Damn. That's how much the Sega Saturn costs, which is now equal to six hundred and forty two dollars. How much did the N sixty four cost? Three ninety nine ninety nine. Four hundred. Uh. Two ninety nine, three hundred, three fifty. Caleb Craig is the closest. N sixty four was only two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, was it really? Really? Yeah, it was pretty cheap. I remember that. Which is now equal to about three hundred twelve dollars, which seems uh, that's a good price for a console. I would say N sixty four would have my vote back then. Uh, how much did the PlayStation cost? Uh, let's go two ninety nine again. Three forty nine. Two wait three fifty. Two forty nine. Oh, two fifty. Okay, three hundred. Two. Problem with these prices is I can't. I can either take it out from one guy or the other guy, so I can't go lower than the lowest. So I'm gonna. Do yeah, but you could again. do two seventy five and be in between. All right, two seventy five. Well, he said two ninety nine, right? Yeah. So okay, you got a small margin, which you're able to beat him. <laughs> two seventy five. I'm just telling him that he could do it. He could uh, be right in the middle and be a dick. The answer is three hundred. Woo! Three hundred dollars. <laughs> the smallest margin uh, possible. You could have said three hundred on the money, and you would have got it. Uh, which is now equal to about four hundred eighty-two dollars, which would be a little steep for me, admittedly, a little steep. Uh, so it's funny looking at these numbers, though. It looks like. Um, the Sa- the Saturn outsold, so the Atari Jaguar is kind of the odd one odd one out. But every other one, the more expensive it was, the less it sold, um, except for the Atari. So and the PlayStation, and the PlayStation, yeah. But it seemed like it was a lower selling one. You're right, I was totally off on that one. But there's there does seem to be a thing. You got to price your console right. Maybe yeah. the N64 looked too cheap. I don't know. Maybe. It, it actually is better than the PlayStation in a lot of ways. It, it Except is for its better controller. in almost <laughs> every way. Yeah, it's, its controller sucks. Um, they both... I think the N64 had internal memory within the cartridges. Yeah, It, it right? did have internal memory, but then you had to and get, you like... Do. You had to get certain accessories you in order to play certain games. Little packs that you yeah. play. The, the so, yeah, Donkey yeah. Kong 64 required, like, the rumble pack, I think it was called. No, it's a, to, it's a graphics pack is what it is. Yeah, it, you had to put, like, the, the, the second cartridge. Yeah, like, and I right bought 64, Donkey Kong 64, and I was going to play it, but I didn't have the $30 fucking graphic update thing, and I was like, yeah, I'm not paying 50 bucks for yeah, this game. Yeah, I'm not doing it. It's a twenty dollar game. It's not a fifty dollar. You have game. Donkey Kong sixty four. I have you? it, but I don't have the little like upgrade chip. I thought you bought it. No, I was gonna, and then Dylan, I I don't know. I, don't know what <laughs> I swear <laughs> we went to like Mario's one time, and you went and bought one when no, I was with you. I was gonna. I swear that happened. I didn't want to. Not swear. Well, fuck. Um, yeah, this is a uh, this is kind of the first console I got in touch with as a kid like i said yeah. I, I didn't really have video games though i guess the i guess the NES was but after the NES was gotten rid of then um i also saved up mowed lawns and bought a playstation one right before the ps3 uh launched oh God. <laughs> um you know always a generation behind wait uh, didn't the ps3 launch in like 06 yeah it's like 2006 right 
Okay. So, and I, I got mine probably right around then, yeah. Back when the Xbox and uh, the the GameCube was cutting its prices down to like $100. Um, it's a good time. Good time to be alive back then. Uh <laughs> But yeah, I like this generation a lot. Uh, definitely all the Final Fantasy games that I love off of the, uh, the PlayStation 1 and all the, the remakes and stuff that went on to that console as well. Um, love that Crash game that I played uh, a little bit of. Love that game. Uh, but yeah, N64 I think has the more classic games in my opinion. But what do you guys What do you guys think? What do you guys... What's your opinion on this generation as a whole? Uh, well, The, f- the then- first like big 3D... <laughs> I think that Nintendo 64 is like really the the hardcore rise of Nintendo's games because like they had some of their games before on the, the Super NES was huge. On the Super so I don't Nintendo. know if that's true. Well, I mean, yeah, they had it on the Super Nintendo, but they like continued that those series on the N64, and because they had a bunch of third parties leave them. That's when those games became their thing. That when they thing. became isolated. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's when they became isolated and that became their thing. That's be, that's become their system. So, like, uh, Smash Bros. is now basically the reason people buy Nintendo systems. And so is, like, Zelda games. Uh, and so is... Their originals. Uh, yeah. yeah, their, their originals. Those those specific, those the handful of games mm-hmm. is Nintendo at its core. And the, the other games are just not as important. And the PlayStation and the Saturn used. And the PlayStation uh, and the other games, yeah. They had the, the wider variety, and then that's when people have, like, a... a commitment to certain game developers yeah um it did kind of pave the way for oh i really like naughty dogs games oh i really like insomniacs yeah. games uh stuff like that whereas with nintendo it's like oh i like nintendo so you have the mario you have the Zelda, <laughs> you have the the big stuff and that's just what you play right yeah yeah um and I, honestly i still prefer playstation over over uh n64 but I don't know. There's just something about it. There's something about the PlayStation that there's a lot of really great things that it has on it. I mean, it has Metal Gear Solid. Um, you've got the Final Fantasies. You've got Vagrant Story. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, Japanese role playing games that really um, had a lot of good success. Not maybe not financial success, but there's a shitload of them on PlayStation. Um, it's interesting though that you would think that the PlayStation would be the better console to have the shooter on but the big shooter was on the n64 yeah yeah the controller is about a million times better yeah. <laughs> well that was PS1. still during the time when like the shooting buttons yeah, were like the on the x like, button or whatever yeah. the the regular buttons i can't believe that halo was... halo just really it just came in and said nope it's the trigger and any game that doesn't do this is a shit game <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah um, I it was a lot of fun. I mean, there's there are a lot of great series that started on PlayStation as well. I mean, it's they're not quite as iconic as as Mario and Zelda per se, but no, well, those are the games that people buy Nintendo games or Nintendo systems. I would for. say Zelda especially now. Yeah, I think Zelda now because if you look at like what the Wii sold, and then you look at what the Wii U, and then the Switch. Wii U didn't really have a Zelda. It had the one that came out on the it Switch. It had a remake of uh, <laughs> Wind Waker, and then it had the dumbed down version. The dumbed <laughs> down <laughs> version of, uh, of Breath of the Wild. So, yeah, I think Zelda's the big flagship now. But I think then it was probably just Mario, or like a culmination of all of it. You know, the big flagship. Uh... It probably would be Smash, wouldn't it? Oh, Smash. probably Smash, yeah. yeah. I don't consider that a, a, a thing. That Even though it is. should be Mario Kart, because it's the best thing ever. Um, well, Mario Kart keeps getting remade <laughs> for every goddamn system. Yeah, Mario Kart have. 8 keeps getting remade for every system that they yeah. have. Yeah, First for Wii U, and then the Deluxe Edition. It's a great fucking for, game, uh, right? For Switch. I don't know. Like, it's a great fucking game. Uh, what are we at, Cameron? So, Bring Up the Rear is myself with 7 points. Then we have Craig with 13 points. And then we have Schweiss with 14 points. Oh, oh shit. shit. I told you I was going to beat you this time. <laughs> Fuck you. He did. He said that. And he was right. Even with your cheap tactics. Cheap tactics? You were using my guesses to boost your own, you piece <laughs> yeah. of shit. Well, why do you guess first every time, though? Because they wait for it. They won't say anything <laughs> unless I do. It's in the proper clockwise order. <laughs> no, it's not. 
Yeah, that's it how we that's how me. we introduce ourselves on the show. It's yeah. how we answer questions. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't like it? Sit somewhere. Well, else. You've been answering after twice half the time, no, Cam Cam. So you're a piece of shit. After twice, and that's because he just got he just had to jump the gun with his guess. All right, including one time that I guessed two ninety nine. You guessed two ninety nine, so I changed mine later because I didn't want both of us to have two ninety nine, and then you fucking won with two ninety nine. <laughs> or the one time where he guesses, uh, what was it like two ninety nine? And I guess I gave you guys both ample time to shout out Gran Turismo two. That's true, ample time. And you said it was a sequel, and we already said Final Fantasy eight wasn't it. And if you really think nine sold out, well, much, crazy. I mean, you could consider one of the Final Fantasies to be a sequel to the other one since they're numbered. Right. I know, but we already so, said and eight. And you said, and so I could have said, and since I said eight, it could have been nine. And he was like, it's already a game that we said. So it still could have been Final Fantasy nine. No. It could have. And then you just said You could have shouted two. that. You could have shouted. But guys, there was like a five second period of time. You could re-listen to the thing where both your guys' like brain was clicking away and he just was a little faster well, than Well, Schweiss already had his three answers, so fuck you. You shouldn't have counted it. You both had... No, I didn't. That was no. my third. I saved he the got last two, one. He got two in a row right off the bat, Craig. I can't just like not give it to him. I saved my third. I cherished it. I <laughs> hold, held it close <laughs> until Clues spouted out, and then I stole it. <laughs> Driver three. Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't. I think Driver Three was on the PS2. Yeah, it was. Whatever. Driver Two, I think, was on the PS1, but I'm not sure. Um, what's your favorite? Uh, fuck it. What's your favorite N64 game? What's your favorite PS1 game? Goldeneye, and I don't know. If you really like Goldeneye, that's terrible because it's terrible. It was my favorite. I, mean, I remember going over to my babysitter's house when she wasn't babysitting, game just game. so I could play. You're just saying it's terrible night. because it just hasn't ba- aged well. Go back and play it because now oh, it's I have. horrible. Don't. We've played it, Craig. God, it's Don't go awful. back and play it. That's it's what you fucking do. awful now. Uh, Perfect Dark is still still holds up. I think that was still fun. You and your love for Odd Job. <clears throat> you don't have uh, a you don't have a uh, PlayStation One title you like, Cameron. Well, he just barely I, bought one. So the first time I purchased a PlayStation One was in 2017. Right, but you never had, you never played at someone else's house. No, like I remember playing. So I had a Tony my, Hawk. My my aunt who lived Ooh. in Idaho, I would go over to her place every so often for like Thanksgiving, and she had like that weird jet ski racing game. That's what I'd play every now and then. Okay, uh, favorite. N64 game, probably Ocarina of Time or Mario 64. And then PlayStation <laughs> would be... Uh, uh, I just thought of something. My favorite, my favorite PlayStation game that I own is Valkyrie Profile. <laughs> uh, so. Fuck you. Uh, and I was thinking, it almost sounded like you said Ocarina of Time. He does. I was just thinking like, he Ooh. adds an R to it. <laughs> it's a whale game. Yeah, it is. Uh, you replace Link with a uh, with Shamu. It's Orc <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you conquer the world as a fucking killer whale. He does <laughs> every time he says Ocarina, he says Orc Arena. I do. Okay, yeah. I thought I heard it, and I was like, Nah, no one else seemed to care. Fuck Cameron, yeah. that's how I say. Maybe it. Cameron it's didn't fine. care because he was making a fucking paper football. I don't care. <laughs> um, favorite <laughs> PlayStation One game, probably. Uh, oh man, probably FF Seven or Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. It's hard. Uh, I'd say FF7. Metal Gear Solid's really close, though, and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 is also really close. <laughs> that was probably my number <laughs> two. Yeah. Um, and then Tony Hawk is awesome. So, er, Nintendo 64, nostalgia favorite, would be Goldeneye, because I did play a lot of that. Um, current favorite? Hmm. Pokemon Snap. No, I'm just <laughs> Pokemon Snap. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Was it, Pokemon yeah, Snap yeah. is pretty sweet. Yeah. I remember playing that. Um, I, I really... I really like Donkey Kong 64 a lot. I played a shitload of the multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. The multiplayer for that game I didn't play is that until way better than I didn't play that until it was a way old console. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But it was a lot of fun. The yeah, fucking dude. being Chunky Kong, blasting those pineapples. Yeah. Being Diddy Kong with his like, peanut shooter. Yeah. Diddly, diddly Kong. Yeah. yeah. Good shit. Yeah, it is good what shit. What about you, Joe? Uh, the game I played the most is probably Ocarina of Time as well. Uh didn't get that far into it, but I've restarted it many times. <laughs> uh, let's see. What the fuck else have I played on the N64? I did play the first level of The World Is Not Enough over and There's over. There's Mario over Kart. Again. Mario Kart 64. I don't like that one. 
You don't like 64? I don't like 64. There's something with the physics of uh, Super, uh, of Mario Kart 64 that I I got used to Double Dash. That's the Mario Kart that I came into, yeah. which is, of course, the one that no one talks about anymore. Um, <laughs> and so, like, I could transfer over to the Wii pretty well, but transferring back to the N64 one, it was like, ooh, I can't do this. Can't do it. And something with the physics and the way the controller is on that one, I don't care for that much. But, yeah, I'd probably say o- Ocarina Time as well. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, guys, that was a that was an interesting episode of Nude Clan. Hope you enjoyed our pre recorded uh, stuff here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Our uh, our next thing that we're going to record, which is our Nude Clan After Dark, uh, as well, and then um, and then our not pre recorded early review <laughs> of God of War <laughs> that you enjoyed two weeks ago. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get to that, guys. Uh, Till next time, I guess. Well, fuck it. I don't have a slogan like that. We'll see you. See you next time. <laughs> Enjoy the news. Wait, wait, wait. Plugs. NudeClan.net. Right. At Joseph Degolier. At Obsidian Bob. At NudeClan Cam. At UFF Podcast. Call our phone line at 385-204-3921. And uh, our website, we, we would love some questions on our forums. And uh, if you want to support the show, we have Patreon, we have Amazon, you can click through through our site. And uh, if you want to try it, you know, audibletrial.com forward slash nude clan <laughs> is a great place to go if you want to check out some audiobooks. Until then. Uh, well, first, iTunes reviews, guys, and oh, also yeah. try to re- leave reviews on the website, too, on the episodes. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that, too. Um, uh, Tomb Raider got back to us, right? That's what yeah, said. yeah. Okay, sweet. So we're all good. Resident Evil, we... Yeah. Resident Evil, we... Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, now enjoy the nude. <laughs> May the list go on. Live always in the nude. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Yeah!